And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Legion. That's, where, that's right, we're playing a Katarina Legion Marauder. But we're really focusing on the Lee part of Legion, as you can see. I didn't just misspell Legion, we are also playing Lee Sin. That's right, we have an Ionia Lee Sin deck uh, where we have all of the cool Lee Sin things going on with the Ionia. But we're going to combine it with both Katarina and Legion Marauders. So Katarina is hopefully going to be able to get us those extra attacks. Whenever we play a leveled up Katarina, we get to Rally. And having Lee Sin, leveled up Lee Sin um, with Rally is amazing. So each time you attack with a Lee Sin, you get to Dragon's Rage. So if you can attack two, three times um, a turn, you get to um, challenge each one of those and get those uh, Dragon's Rage every single time. That's pretty amazing. But then, of course, also we want to be attacking with Legion Marauder as much as possible. Um, you know, we want to, every time we attack all allied Legion Marauders everywhere, get that plus one, plus one. So that's kind of that's kind of our deck. You know, this is going to be a meme tier deck where we'll see how it does. Also, it's playing Legion General. This is a card that I haven't really played too much of. It'll be interesting to see if this really holds its weight. I'm pretty skeptical that Legion General would be better than other five mana cards available. Um, there's there's a lot of good stuff whenever you're talking about four or five mana. Like Cat of the Arm going with Lee Sin it seems pretty amazing. I could see that's supposed to be Cat of the Arm. Even Jewel Protector getting that plus three, plus three could be pretty cool. But we're going to play it as is because this was a donation deck. That's the two Ds here. All four decks today actually were donation decks that were submitted by viewers. None of these uh, were ones that I built myself. Uh, got a lot of cool uh, meme tier decks today submitted by the viewers. All right, so let's let's play our games. We're going to just go play over in normal. Hopefully, we get to do some cool stuff with Legion Grenadier and Leeson and Katarina. Um, yeah, we got, just got some cool cards here. Ooh. Teemo, Twisted Fates, Heimerdinger. All right. All right, back to our hand. I'm just going to keep this. This just has, like, our champions... Um, Katarina's not a champion we need till later, but we have these things to play earlier. Got another Katarina. <laughs> Alright, so not a thing. So, so if you're a Cubs fan, you do not cheer for the White Sox. So you don't want to see, like, the Cubs-White Sox World Series. So do you, do you actively cheer against the White Sox? How's this working? All right, I'm gonna put this illegal contraption back into their hand because it is illegal. So we're gonna put it back in their hand. And now it'll cost six mana if they want to play that five, five. All right, Marauder, go get him. Go get him. Look what I found. Yeah, I mean, I know yeah, I know, like, the Cubs are on the north side, the Sox are on the south side, but what basically what I'm asking is, you know, like, we're about to have the playoffs. Both teams are in the playoffs. Order Obviously, Order like, you know, the Cubs are your number one team, but do you still, even with, like, having, like, the Cubs as your number one team, do you still, um... Uh, yeah, I guess we go Lee Sin, because we still have the, ch the champion spell of the Sonic Wave could be really good here. Um, whenever you're, if you're watching, you know, the White Sox play, I guess they're, who are they going to be playing? I think they're playing the A's. Yeah, I think they're playing Oakland. So if you're watching the White Sox play Oakland, are you cheering for the White Sox or are you cheering for Oakland? Oh man, I want to play this Legion Marauder. Yeah, I'm doing it. We're doing it. We're, we're doing our thing. Okay, so like you're a Mets fan and you'd rather any other team win besides the Yankees. Okay. Okay, true, true Chicago, Chicagoans cheer for the Cubs and hipsters cheer for the White Sox. I also feel like there's just way more Cub fans because of like their broad, broadcast and everything too. Our enemies cannot hide. 
That'd be my guess. Center your spirit. Um, I'm, like I said, just from like WGN. No, we're doing our cool thing. They want to get their stuff challenged. So my two favorite baseball teams are the Mets and whoever's playing the Yankees. All right, what do we got? Thresh and Ash. So we'll have Eye of the Dragon, Claw of the Dragon. Those are both pretty cool. We'll just kind of keep. That's all. This stuff's pretty cool. That was a that was a pretty awesome game, though. Unfort I wish our opponent didn't concede quite as early. We're about to pump up both of those Legion Marauders quite a bit. That was going to be really cool. We each hold a world within. Rhyme Fang Wolf. All right, I'm gonna bounce my Eye of the Dragon. I expect them to attack here. Thought so. I won't stand by. Lee has told me about you. Only the bad parts are true. We'll put in the four two. We can still play the Eye of the Dragon next turn, and so we'll still have the Dragling. Pretty cool turn. Is no substitute for planning. Breathe in, breathe out. Within my grasp. Pretty cool little turn. I'm not gonna use the Sonic Wave yet. We're gonna I'm gonna wait till like I see some champions and stuff. I'm not gonna use it on a Rumping Wolf. Um, I'm just gonna be casting Deep Meditation this turn. That's kind of my plan. I guess I should cast it here. Man, I want to play the Deep Meditation, though. Sorry, Deep Meditation, you're going to have to wait. I think this is worth it so they don't get a good challenge on my Eye of the Dragon and everything like that. My friends. Never mind. Still get that. All right, so casting that Dragon's Protection to not only help out my Eye of the Dragon, but now we'll have three mana Deep Meditation again. Because we need this Deep Meditation. We are down on cards compared to them. A chill in the air. Mm. Yeah, yes, I have been to, to the Astro Stadium before. It is a, a real long time ago, back whenever it was new. Um, whenever I was younger, yeah, it is gorgeous, and it the the Rangers just got a new stadium, and it looks a whole a whole lot like the Astros Minute Maid Park, and that's something that the, a lot of Rangers fans uh, complain about about the new Globe Globe Life Field is that it looks too much like Minute Maid Park because the Rangers and Astro, Astros, of course, are rivals. What do we got here? And so, Rangers fans, were, we don't like having a stadium that looks like our rivals. Looks like we kind of copied their their stadium. It was, I think it was made by the same people, I think. Designed by the same people or something like that. All right, we got Legion Marauder. Um, well, that's bad. Okay, okay. My light for Amorosa. Allows me to, to take out. Never mind. I was going to say that allows me to take out Fresh, but I guess not. Good news is other Legion Marauders will be 4 threes. That's the good news. So, 4 out of 6. Nothing escapes my wife. Force is meaningless without skin. A pleasure to see you, Master. My plan is 
have Elixir of Iron plus Deny. Come on in. We're around with Lee Sin. 7 out of 8? Cool. Alright, no blocks. That draws them three cards. I'm gonna deny that. I know it's... I know that means I don't have the protection for the Lee Sin. But they're gonna have a whole lot of Frostbite cards and that kind of stuff that I can't protect against anyway. But I think that the... Um, keeping them from drawing three cards right now. And just two in general. Ooh, that's a cool draw. That's a good draw. Wow, we got our, our champions, Lee Sin and Katarina. A true Fragnorian welcome. Alright, so we're gonna give Elixir of Wrath. Challenge here, attack here. We'll strike that and bounce it. And hopefully this puts the Katarina back in my hand. I get to replay Katarina and, and attack again. Ooh, that hurts. Um, that really hurts. All right, so we got to Blade's Edge. Oh, man. I guess we got to Blade's Edge that thing and pump this up. I think that's what we have to do. And I don't level up Katarina, but we do bounce this Thresh that would be at 5 out of 6. And we keep our Katarina alive. It's just a nick. Definitely not ideal. This is where we draw a deep meditation. Why not give the cat the plus three plus zero? Because then I wouldn't be able to get rid of the Thresh. But I guess that would bounce the Katarina back to my hand so they couldn't challenge Katarina with Thresh. But the Thresh would be at five out of six. And that's super scary. But yeah, I know I know Thresh now can kill Katarina. My aim is true. Ugh. You reign over a barren wasteland. Our lands may be hard, but so are we. No, Thresh does not bounce with Lee Sin at zero, no. I was wondering that too, but no, that's not the case. Yes, you. The dragon binds us. That hurts having Katarina leave. Right, so yeah, zero, zero power. It doesn't strike. So the dragon's rage doesn't doesn't strike. If I had that Elixir of Wrath last turn, we could have killed the Thresh. One candle for every soul. We're going to have to draw something miraculous to stay alive. That's not going to do it. Just ran out of cards. Really ran out of cards, and um, that harsh wins In the end, the was brutal. So they had so much frostbite. Frostbite's very good against us. Strike. All right, one and one. No champions over here. We'll see what kind of deck that means. I think that's probably going to be an, an aggro deck. 
I could see that. I don't know. I could see them just doing. I don't know. I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing. I could see it being aggro and I could see it being control. I could see it being like the undying and stuff like that. Or I could see it being like a. It's probably going to be like a they who endure atrocity deck. It's probably going to be like that. Like they who endure atrocity. Kind of thing. Yeah, we could probably use some more card draw spells. In here. We ran out ran out there, but I mean that's also just that's one game of us running out. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna always run out. Kind of thing. But uh, if Take a stance and hold it. you know, if, if some of these cards like Elixir of Wrath and Sonic Wave, if they're not killing stuff going to be problematic. Noxus doesn't really have great answers for card draw. We already have the three deep meditations. I don't know if there's anything else for Ionia. So that's, you know, like Shadow Assassin. That kind of stuff. No, I don't, I don't think this deck would be better with Might instead of Legion Marauder. I think you could play Might instead of other stuff. I think the Legion Marauder is just another important threat. You gotta have threats, too. That's what makes it tough, is you gotta have make sure you have enough threats, but then you also need good card to draw. There are River Shapers in here. That's That card's good. Hmm. I think that was just kind of a case of us running out of stuff. I don't, I don't really love, like, three Claws of the Dragon, three Eye of the Dragon... I honestly just don't don't love those those two things. I mean, I think those could maybe be some spells, or just like more river shapers Master. and things that replace themselves and get more, and generate spells for you and that kind of stuff. I think claws of the dragon and eye of the dragon are okay, but I, I'm not sure they're necessarily just automatic three ofs. Oh, yes. They're weird cards. They reward you for. I'm gonna pass. It's like they're cards that reward you for having a lot of spells, but they don't help you have a lot of spells. And I feel like we already have cards that reward us for having a lot of spells, like Lee Sin, and I don't know if we need... You know, does that make sense? Like, I don't know... Like, how many cards do you want that reward you for playing a bunch of spells instead of just having good threats and also a bunch of spells? Hey, my droid. No, I, I don't. I would not hold back, Ying Yue. You've been in my thoughts. Oh, me. You always did think too much. I don't know. So I want to play spells. Never. I don't know what I want to do. Sonic Wave? I don't know. Just having the five mana. We need a little bit extra mana. We need to not spend so much mana the last turn. But I also don't kind of want to clear their board. This should be fine. This. I like getting Katarina leveled up and back in my hand. So we'll have three, four lease in it. That's probably fine. I don't nece I don't have to challenge with lease in. We don't have to do this. But this is just putting lease in back to being three, four, where it was originally. So I think that's okay. Ha! They'll never know what kills. Protect. There you are. Okay, got some challengers. 
So many sonic waves. What am I supposed to do with all these sonic waves? Conflict is all in the mind. I'll see this through. Pass turn. Four. Need to level you up, Leeson. Need to level you up. I will not hold back. So that's six. I'll see this through. My lands, prepare yourself. My saplings. Cannot play Katarina and two more spells to level up Lee Sin this turn. Overgrown snap vine. So that's what we're doing, huh? All I like it. We need to make an overgrown snap vine deck. Maybe play that tomorrow, because I got some more meme tier decks that we need to play. So maybe we'll make one of those for tomorrow. Awesome. Three manics. I need to, need to play two more spells. That's my plan, is to try to get two more spells out here, and then also get these uh, Katarina extra attacks. Ooh, Iceborne Legacy. That's really cool. I could deny that, but I don't even want to, because that's just cool. Like, is, that, is that too mean to deny an Iceborne Legacy? I guess I probably should. There's a good chance we lose if I don't, because then they can just start playing um, things that just give them a ton of overgrown snap vines that are all be seven fives. So I guess I have to deny, but I really, I feel bad about, I feel bad about this. We're in normal Conflict meme tier day and I'm denying Iceborne Legacy. That's just cruel. Gotta play one more spell. I guess it's gonna be deep meditation. I don't really want to play anything else. But there we go, there's level up piece in. The dragon spirit awakened. Could have waited on that for the next turn. But I didn't want to waste the mana. Okay. You deserve it. Unfortunately, Lee Sin is just going to wreck this game now. They deserve that. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike first. Center your spirit. So I'm gonna just put this back in their hand because if they want to spend the seven mana on overgrown snap bind again, I'm I'm happy with that. Good resonating strike to kill it, but it just don't need to. And I'm glad I didn't. Conflict is all in the mind. So now we get to do this. Do the plus two, because like this game's gonna be over this turn, right? So now I get to just rally twice with Katarina. That's my plan. And looks like we're gonna pick up the win, go to two and one. Never. That egg. How? Oh, right. It's hapless aristocrat. So it dies immediately and we got... Right, right, right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. My lands need me. Close the distance. Prepare yourself. So they have to block, otherwise they lose. They need another hapless aristocrat. Definitely wanted to win on this cool Katarina plus Lee Sin combo. Three kicks in one turn. Y'all ever done three Dragon's Rage kicks in one turn? That's probably the first time I've ever done that. Ionia endures. And Ionia endures. 
That is pretty good. Hapless Aristocrat with Overgrown Snapline. That is pretty cool. Ooh. Lisa and a Twisted Fate. <laughs> I think that's that's the YouTube top play. So, okay, so we were talking about the other day, I think I'm gonna go top games of the week instead of top plays of the week. I think people wanna see the full games. And so I'm gonna just have like the five best games of the week and, and go the full game and then it, you know, be like a 30, 45 minute video instead of just a five minute top plays of the week video. We'll keep our Katarina. Let's see what else we get. Okay, yeah, you like that idea, Tumble Dog? Going top top games of the week? The yeah, so then I was gonna play like the entire game. There. I am prepared. The order rewards I mean, I only did the one plays of the week video, and uh, no, it it didn't do very good. But that was kind of like a, a, a feedback that I got from it was that people would rather see the full games from it. Ooh, Legion Marauder. What do we got here? What do we got here? We have Dragon's Protection for it, and obviously Twin Disciplines. I just think that if they want to block Eye of the Dragon, I am happy with that. I'm happy with these striking. You cannot escape. Okay, our Legion Marauders have been buffed once. They've had one attack. The dragon spirit. It's a permanent buff. It's not going to go anywhere. Like, if I bounce it back, if I retreat it back to my hand, it will still be buffed. Conflict is all in the mind. Ye been warned. I'll see this through. My lands need me. Center your spirit. Prepare yourself. All right, we will retreat. No more hiding. Retreat. Retreat, Legion Marauder. Retreat. Return putting in Katarina sounds pretty cool. Let's have some fun. Oh no, this does go back to being a 3 2. Fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Hmm. Never play fair. Recalling does reset it. What is gained when we return malevolence? All right, how do we want to do this? Go Sonic Wave on Draggling. Blood for Noxus. Draggling Challenge, Lee Sin. Their sense travels on the night end. Make them use two cards. Give the barrier to Lee Sin. So yeah, I don't want to do the Katarina Challenger um, because they'd be able to get Barrier, right? So like, I'm going to be challenging the Lee Sin, but with the Barrier, I want it on something that I can throw generally throw away. I can play six six Legion General or draw two cards. You 
So they won't get their Dragoling. They're going to be filled here. Breathe in, breathe out. I will get my Dragoling. They cannot hide. Within my grasp. Sight firm. Each time we recall Katarina, we get to pump up this Legion General for whenever we do eventually play it. Our enemies cannot hide. My lands need center your spirit. The dragon remembers. I will not hold back. So all killing something does is give them opportunity to get their draggling in play. But uh, I mean, I guess this thing's gonna die anyway. Do I need to save my Eye of the Dragon? Yeah, I probably do. My friend. Don't really need to save the 4 2. Clear your head. Let your instincts speak. I'd love to find our own at least in. Never lost a fair game. Soak it in. It's a five-five. Ying Yue, you've been in my thoughts. Oh, Lee, you always did think too much. It's possible they don't have the two spells to be able to give Lee Sin barrier. I think that's possible. They'd have to have two burst spells in hand. I think it's worth. Look what I. The, you know, worth trying. Hoping they don't. This is the best bet. No. Conflict is That's all really good. Yep, they had two burst spells. I'll see this through. The dragon spirit awakens. Worth it. You've been in. So I can kill Leeson or Twisted Fate. This Twisted Fate's at five out of eight. Never. I can kill one of them with Legion Marauder. Does it have to be Twisted Fate? If I kill if I kill Lee Sin, then I can keep Legion Marauder alive with the Twin Disciplines. This is difficult. So yeah, I can, I can go Twin Disciplines plus. And then it, it gains the one from the attack, so we can actually kill Lee Sin and keep my Marauder alive. But then this thing's at 5 out of 8. Both difficult to deal with. Um, both game-breaking. <laughs> kind of have to... Gotta get rid of both of them. I don't know which one's better. Um, I don't. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Both very powerful. Noxus. Crows will have what's left. I think my best bet is go after Lee Sin and hope they can't level up this Twisted Fate too fast. They have already played a bunch of demeditations and stuff. That lets me keep Marauder alive. Ugh. Because, yeah, leveled up Lee Sin is just really difficult, but so is Twisted Fate. What is when you return malevolence? Oh, that helps. I can fight Twisted Fate now. Not on this turn. Just might as well retreat right now so that if I... Because if I let this resolve and then they challenge... And then I retreat if they have, like, Make It Rain or a spell like that. Then they still get to draw their card. Imagination is not experience. And instinct is no substitute for planning. All or nothing. Claws. You lack 
I mean, those should just be blocked the other way, right? Well, I guess I, I gained the two life here. That's the important part with that, is I gained the two life. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Alright, let's find some spells to go along with Lee Sin. We could use Deep Meditation. Imagination we could definitely is use Deep Meditation. And instinct is no substitute for planning. Breathe in, breathe out. No. No spells. Yeah. I guess you can win them all. Yuck. Not a single spell for Lee Sin. That's what I mean about too many Eye of the Dragons and Claws of the Dragon. Like they we need more spells. Our war host awaits. The dark beckons. Eyes open. I don't envision us beating leveled up Lee or leveled up Twisted Fate without having Lee Sin and stuff now. Oh yeah, it's really good to draw all these cards. So it looks like this one's gonna be over. It looks like we're about to be two and two, unfortunately. They drew so many cards. Yeah, they leveled up their Twisted Fate super fast. The turn they played it, and then whenever I could deal with it, it was already at five out of eight, right? Wasn't that like the same turn? If not, it was the, just the very next turn. I'm a people person. Possibly. Force is meaningless no. without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. No going back. You cannot escape. Nothing else to do besides do this. Uh. Yeah, I the dragon it, it it does do a good job of generating disposable minions and gaining life and all that kind of stuff whenever you have whenever you have your spells, so but Aren't having any spells. It's doing nothing. Anything else? We drew River Shaper a, an entire total of zero times, and I'm really sad about that. R this would have been a, a good River Shaper deck, helped draw some more spells. This would have got us some good card advantage. Um, but throughout all five games, and we played long games. This was an hour and six minutes. We played long games, and throughout all of those long games, we drew. A total of zero River Shapers the whole time. And, you know, we never had enough cards. But yeah, Might gives Overwhelm with double damage. Yeah, and so that's also probably better. Yeah. Ooh, this could be a good Key Guardian deck. That could be a good card that we could play here. That helps out Legion Marauder. You know, like, Key Guardian on Legion Marauder allowing it to attack could really be nice. So if, if we take out, like, a Claw of the Dragon... And so maybe some things to do. Maybe take out Claw of the Dragon. Maybe take out Legion General. Honest, honestly, I wouldn't play Legion General, and I wouldn't really play Elixir of Wrath either, to be honest. Um, okay, but what else? So you could have, like, two Key Guardians give us something else to just have some more card draw. And that could be pretty cool with Legion Marauder and really good with River Shaper also. And the Key Guardian Claw of the Dragon combo. I like that. I like that. And then we have some mites. Maybe two of those. To go along with the Lee Sin Overwhelm and Legion Marauder Overwhelm. That kind of stuff. Um, overwhelm for an entire turn. Of course, great with getting multiple attacks with Katarina. Um... And then that gives us three more cards. We can still play a couple of Cato the Arms in the five mana slot, I think, instead of Legion General. Again, get the Overwhelm. And then one extra card. Maybe another River Shaper. Probably another cheap spell. Could be Key Guardian. Could be like Health Potion if you're playing against Aggro. 
Um, ooh, what if you give Elusive for a turn? Like Legion Marauder Elusive with like Katarina attacking. That could be cool. Um, I was also thinking maybe like a, a quick attack with like the Legion Marauder. Or a Ravenous Flock. A Death Lotus. Transfusion. Transfusion's always good at keeping things alive. Culling Strike's awesome removal. If we want some more removal, I would could definitely see playing a Culling Strike in here. Kind of another spell to... You know, kind of like these, and then another spell that's just um, a, a play what you want. Yeah, Captain Farron could be a great finisher. Um, you know, if you want something else against aggro, you got your Spirit's Refuge. You know, if you want to play a Might, you can play a Might. If, you know, you can uh, play a third of, of any any of these any of these that are like two ofs. If you want to play a three of any of these, you can. Um, basically, just a, a pick whatever you want to play. If you want to play a Mina Swiftfoot or a Captain Farron. Um, Stand United. I always love Stand United. Like Stand United's an awesome trick. That could be really cool with uh, Legion Marauder also. Uh, like, if you get a larger Legion Marauder, you get to stand united and, and make it unblocked kind of thing. And maybe you put, like, a Katarina in front of them. I always love that as a trick. But yeah, Spirits Refuge, Whimsy, um, Concussive Palm. Lots of playable cards. If you want to play a... If you want to try a Shadow Assassin in here to go along with the Retreats... Um, if you want to play another another River Shaper, so hopefully you draw a River Shaper at some point. I don't know. There, those are all great options. Um, probably not. I mean, <clears throat> Dawn and Dusk. Dawn and Dusk is awesome with Lisa, in, but that's definitely more meme teary. The Dawn and Dusk, but that would be an option. So this is 39. Pick out any of those for whatever your favorite card is or whatever you want to play for the 40th. Um, I think I would play a Culling Strike myself. Yeah, Culling Strike's too good. I'd play that. That would help out a lot in those Lee mirrors that we had, like that, that Bilgewater Ionia Lee Sin mirror. So there we go, Katarina Legion. <laughs> For Legion and Marauder, at least. And it's always good to play Legion Marauder decks. Legion Marauder is a really fun card to play, and it's just a good card that's um, you know, underplayed, I think. It's a fun one to do. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, you know, anything about like maybe these changes, or if you got any ideas for those last slot or two. Um, anything like that. If you try it out yourself, if you've been looking for a Legion Marauder and Katarina deck, give it a try. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.